What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'll be talking once again about the Android subsystem for Windows. Essentially, you can run Android apps natively on your computer with very little overhead slash extra things to install. In my previous videos, I covered how to download and install the Windows subsystem for Android, followed by installing the Play Store if you'd like to get extra apps, then a quick guide on sideloading apps using different stores like the Aurora Store, as well as manually installing APK files using ADB. These are all manual methods and pretty good, although a little bit nerdy to say the least. I then created a simple open source tool where you can download it, set it up, and then just double click an APK file where it'll then be installed. With 20,000 views since 2021 and the project last getting its update over two years ago now, I obviously moved on from this as it was okay. Obviously on some edge systems, there were certain issues and weird things happening. Happening. To be honest, this project worked 8,000 downloads. It's okay, but there's an infinitely better one that's much more fleshed out, simply called WSA Pac-Man. This one has definitely more recent updates and more effort put into it. It's a graphical user interface package manager for the Windows subsystem for Android. If we scroll down, you'll see pretty much what it is. It gives you a review of permissions and things like that, allowing you to install APKs and even X APKs. And on top of this, you can double click APK files to install them. So to begin, we'll download and install this bit of software. Simply head across to WSA Pac-Man on GitHub, linked in the description down below, and choose WSA Pac-Man latest on the side here. Then choose the installer.exe, download this, and then open it when it's done downloading. When it pops up, just tick these. Next, install. If it finds any weird issues like ADB running already, it'll ask you to close it or try to close it automatically. Then it'll install the actual software itself. Then click finish. And now we're basically done. All you need to do is find an APK or X APK file. So for example, I'll download the speed test APK from a third party website. When it's done, you'll see that your APK and X APK files now have this new icon. If we double click, it'll prompt us about installing it, ask us for permission and clicking install. It should go through it and set itself up. If you see that the install button is grayed out, WSA may be closed or developer mode may be disabled. To fix this, simply cancel the installation hit start and type in WSA, we will open WSA Pac-Man. In here, we can turn on WSA if it's currently paused or turned off. And shortly after, after choosing allow and allow here, we should see that everything's ready to go. If you're still having issues, hit start and type in Android, we will be opening the Windows subsystem for Android. This window will then pop up, head across to advanced settings on the left, and in here, make sure developer mode is enabled. Then choose manage developer options, and inside of here, when it eventually pops up, simply scroll down until you see USB debugging. Make sure that this is enabled. It's right about, let's see, the second section here under debugging. Once this is enabled, you should be able to double click APKs once more. And now the install button should be clickable. If we click it, it'll install whatever app. And shortly after, we can create a desktop shortcut and open the app. Now, this is opening up under WSA and we can interact with it as we would any other Android app. And running a speed test obviously it's the Android app running on Windows. Pretty cool. In the future, you can start it up using the icon on your desktop or the icon placed in your start menu. You can simply search for it. To uninstall apps, right click and choose uninstall, which will bring up the programs and features control panel page. Simply look for the item you want to uninstall, double click, and it should just vanish after a few seconds. Alternatively, you can hit start, type in WSA and open WSA Pac-Man once more. In here, head across to manage applications and this will open the built-in WSA app manager. Just like that, you can choose an app and uninstall it, disable it, etc. Anyways, that's really about it. If you have any further issues, you can click the settings button in the top right and mess around with a few settings here, change the theme, and even change how the icons look for the apps on your desktop, etc. when you choose to install them. That's it. It's a lot simpler, way more updated, and it's way more powerful than the one that I created just as a little side project. Once again, you'll find it linked down below. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!